quiet, and then you hear three shots, and then the fire alarm. Not the active shooter alarm, the fire alarm. They pull all of us into the three different counseling offices. We barricade the door, and all I hear is, get ready to thrust me. And I run, and you can just see glass everywhere. Blood on the floor. I get to my car, and they're taking a girl out of the auditorium who had been shot in her leg. You can just hear the trauma in that young girl's voice. At 737 this morning, lives were forever changed. And as we later found out, one life was lost. We start tonight with a story no city, no community or parent ever wants to witness. A fatal school shooting in Perry, Iowa. A family is grieving the loss of their child as we now know that a sixth grader was killed during that shooting. Five others injured, including a faculty member. Today's shooting happening as the high school returned for its first day of classes. It's been a long day in Perry as the city, state and nation waits for more information. There are so many questions and unknowns right now, and we are working tirelessly to get you as many answers as we can. There's a lot of information circulating online, and we're working around the clock to make sure the information we bring to you is accurate and it's fact checked. Local 5's Megan McPherson joins us now live from Perry to break down what we do know right now. Megan, you have been out there since early this morning. What are the key takeaways right now? Stephanie, just four days into the new year, parents, students and community members here in Perry have been struck by an unimaginable tragedy earlier today. Here's the latest on what we know tonight. Tonight, the tight knit community of Perry, Iowa, is still in shock after a 17 year old opened fire at the city's high school on the first day of a new semester. Officials say that an active shooting incident was first reported at 7.37 a.m. this morning, roughly 20 minutes before the school day was set to begin. Perry police officers responded within minutes. They immediately made entry and witnessed students and faculty either sheltering in place or running from the school. The suspected shooter is Dylan Butler, a student of Perry High School. Butler was armed with a pump action shotgun and a small caliber handgun. Responding officers also found an IED in the school, but thankfully they determined it was safe. Numerous officers from multiple agencies were able to secure the school and verify no additional threats. Six people were shot. One of them, a sixth grader, was killed. That student was said to be eating breakfast at the high school and has not yet been identified. Five others were wounded Thursday morning. ABC reports Perry High School principal Dan Marburger is one of those injured victims. First responders were rendering aid to the victims who were later transported to area hospitals. Butler was found of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. His motive is still being investigated tonight as officials comb through a number of social media posts made by Butler. And as of this evening, four victims of this tragedy are in stable condition tonight at area hospitals. One victim is in critical condition, according to officials. And as this community begins to process what has happened and as we begin to learn more about the lives of those impacted by this tragedy, the Perry community shattered by gunfire is left to pick up the pieces. Stephanie. Megan, thank you. We appreciate that update.